Hey everyone, um, today I am making a video blog in regards to something totally different. Um, usually you see me and my dog singing, but today I want to talk about an issue that has greatly affected me in the last month. Um, I recently bought or leased a vehicle at Sunrise Ford. Um, they allowed me to leave off the lot telling me that they had a deal when in fact they did not. Um, after two months of working with them, I decided to just return the vehicle and get my money back, which is what the contract stated and what their notice to resend letter stated. After trying to do so, the GM, Damon Rooney, refused to return the vehicle. He refused to unwind the deal and he refused to give me back my $5,000 down payment, claiming that he had a deal when in fact he did not. I left the vehicle on the lot on January 12th and he went ahead on January 19th and had the deal funded in my name for a car that's no longer in my possession. This is called slamming people into deals. This is wrong. The fact of the matter is that they breached their contract by not having the deal financed. I have letters that prove this. The contract also proves this. And at the end of the day, I brought the car back before they decided to work on the deal. Furthermore, I was driving around for two and a half months with a car that was not registered in my name, nor was it financed. So I had the right to bring back the vehicle and receive all of my money back because they failed to fulfill their end of the bargain. For some reason, Ford Motor Credit still allowed them to open the line of credit in my name, even though I had called and alerted them, put a flag on my credit, and froze my credit. This is wrong. <laughs> there is no reason why a consumer should be able to call a loan company and say, look, I don't have a car anymore, and they did not finance the car for two and a half months. I'm telling you as the consumer, do not open this line of credit in my name and they still be able to do so. It's completely wrong. I can prove everything I'm saying. I've been trying to prove everything I'm saying for the last month. This has been a nightmare, mainly because there is nothing in place that protects consumers from dealers treating them fraudulently. There is no penalties in place. In fact, most of the wording in the contract outside of the wording which I fell under does not protect the consumer. There are companies that are out there that are trying to help consumers like Consumer Action Group who have helped me, Public Council, Public Citizen. These groups are great and they're fighting every day to try and help people like me and like you, the everyday person who goes to work, who pays their bills, who you know has been laid off four times, who's been on unemployment for a year and a half prior to finding a job recently. We're all the same. Um, and I just felt like this was the only time I could take the time and speak out for the little guy because no one else does. Better Business Bureau, DMV, Consumer Affairs, Department of Justice, you can file complaints, but nobody does anything. And when it comes to actually going to court, there are no punitive damages really ever given um, in cases like this. You're simply given the money that you are owed and it's almost like the inconvenience and the suffering and the time and money that you've used to get this resolved is all for nothing. This needs to change. Cause you know, car dealers wouldn't treat people this way if they had, you know, if they were afraid of getting in trouble. So I'm just saying that something needs to happen. Something needs to change. If you see this video and you've experienced anything similar, or if you're currently experiencing something similar, please respond in a video, write a comment, pass it on in Facebook, Twitter, like it. Anything that I know or that I've learned from all the lawyers I've talked to, because I've talked to several now, um, and anything that I may have or resources I may have, I'll be more than happy to pass them on to you. Um, if you are someone who actually has a wider range of people that you can touch and pass on this knowledge to, please do, because we can't rely on the system to 
educate us and help us out. We have to educate and help each other out. And I'm, I'm doing this because I don't want anybody else to have to go through the same drama for simply using the rights that they have as consumers, like I have to go through. And apparently I'm not the only one this month in LA alone that's had to go through this. Um, so please pass it on and most importantly, do not go to Sunrise Ford. Um, and if you know any other dealers that have shady business, then let's definitely talk about it because we as consumers, we have the right to be treated fairly. We have the right to be, um, if we're held accountable to a contract, the dealer has the, the same rights. You have to be held accountable for the contract as well. It's not a one-sided transaction. And a lot of these companies, that's what they try to do and that's how they get over on people. Um, so this just needs to stop. Like I'm disgusted. I can't even stomach driving by the place. And when I saw the president's State of the Union address, it really hit home for me because I don't have that kind of money to just be thrown around. And I got it from being in a car accident. So not only am I recovering from a car accident, but I have to get a new vehicle that I now have to pay for. And I have to still go to therapy and pay for therapy. And I know there's someone out there that has to go through the same thing that I'm going through right now. So hopefully um, things will start to turn around and the system in this country will actually protect the same people who have built the country and who continue to keep the country going, uh, the little guy. And that's all I'm gonna have to say for now, but there may be more to come. Thanks.